right guys, this is Jeremy Nett from Permanent Acres, and right here I got a box from a company off of Amazon that contacted me via email asking me to review one of their products. The name of the company is Lore Saber Us. That's L-O-R, Saber, and then Us. Uh, they had, had a model that they offered like 40% discount at when I, whenever I purchased it and after I review it then they were going to refund all the money back to me. So right here I got in the box it's got a one inch thin wall blade with some diffusing material in it. It's got a little wrap for it. A recharge cable with a little allen wrench key in there and a couple set screws. Set screws are for, for the blade retention on the hilt and then it's got this nice aluminum hilt so it retails for $89.99 hilt construction is pretty decently solid and then you look in there you got nice aluminum housing around the LED module which is really good it's got an 18650 uh, protected battery in here that's got a little foam around it it does not have a chassis in it that is one, one downfall to it, but it's not that bad. Uh, got a 27 millimeter high base speaker. Got a little grate there to kind of protect the speaker from going up against the, the metal in here. And then the pommel in here is got threading in here so you can actually thread in a second hilt right into it and use it as a, a double saver. So, real big plus about it is having the 27 millimeter bass speaker that tops what Sile Tan has out there on Amazon and it also tops what LGT has out there. LGT has a 24 millimeter 4 ohm 2 watt speaker and Sile Tan has a 23 millimeter uh, 8 ohm 2 watt speaker. This one, the 27 millimeters, I have the same 27 millimeter speaker on my uh, Verso test board where I test out all the electronics that I work with, test out the switches, make sure they're working right, test out the LED strips to make sure they're working right, LED modules, all that. I test with that board to verify all the electronic components that I'm going to be putting into a lightsaber, everything is working correctly before I wire it up. So I know what the what the the sound capabilities of that 27 millimeter speaker are and it's and it's pretty good. This one's got a 12 millimeter A V switch right here. So hold this down till it lights up. Fire this up. So that's a blast too. This is your color change. So Right here, it's changing colors as it cycles through. Gonna grab the blade quick, slide it in. And the blade does have a pretty snug fit inside here. So as you see it changing color. So whenever you get to the color you want, you just hit that once and it stays that color. So if I hit this twice, Changing font. So it's got seven fonts on here. Keep us at the piece. Not so. cycles to the colors. I hit it four times. So now it's changing up the cycling again. Hit it four times again. One, two, three, four. So now and then if I want to pick a color, 
There we go with the red. And then I'll have a little bit different flicker rate. One second. I had to hit the button again to get it so it would do the flash on flash. Because it, it gets stuck in different modes in there, so if you're stuck and it doesn't do the flash on clash, you just hit that button once and you get the flash on clash back. But the swing sensitivity on the, on the Sabre is a little much. But it. But this is a rechargeable, so that's a plus. And if you do want to deal with it heavier than what, what the blade itself can handle, which it's, it's a nice blade, it's got some flex to it and give, which makes it fun for some dueling, but I wouldn't recommend it for heavy dueling. If you want to duel with it a little heavier, you can switch this out. So would I recommend buying this? Yeah, if you're wanting something that's good. Uh, good sound projection, got a good rechargeable battery, got a really nice LED module, and it feels really good as far as handling. If you're wanting something for your kids, you don't want something that'll break the bank, it's a good lightsaber. And if if it's not for you and you want something that's got smooth swing, that doesn't have as good a sound, then you can go with an LGT. Both, it, uh, I mean honestly, as far as hilts go, this one's really good for an $89 lightsaber if you want just can't stand like the old style swing swing sounds and having more of the old old style swing sensor on it then you can go with an LGT but this is good if you got kids and you just want something for them to play around with that it won't break your heart if they destroy something like the blade or anything like that it's a good lightsaber it's got plenty of features on it for you to play around with. It's got enough features and everything to kind of make up for the fact that it's not smooth swing. It's got a really good LED, LED module. Uh, it comes with actual instructions, which I haven't seen many other manufacturers actually do. See right here, the actual sheet with instructions on here. This is a really nice lightsaber. I'm planning on giving this lightsaber away since Lore Saberus uh, gave me this saber. Uh, they have already refunded the remaining 60% to me. So I'm going to be giving this lightsaber away as well as an LGT uh, Egyptian saber uh, courtesy of Dark Wolf Custom Sabers. So I'll be end up giving away two lightsabers for our 500 subscriber giveaway. And hopefully if things keep on working out, we'll have another item Get put into the giveaway as well so yeah uh thanks for watching this video later later thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please press the like button and if you like what you've been watching uh please hit the subscribe button to see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.